My name is Julian Dollar. I'm the general manager at Newsels Park Stud, and I'm here this morning to tell you about my favourite mare. Um, it was a pretty easy choice, to be honest with you, and it's this lovely girl in front of you who is Shasti. Shasti is a 19-year-old daughter of Danehill, out of the mare Saganika. She has been an exceptional servant to the stud, both in terms of the group winners that she's produced and also the money that her stock have made at the sales. She's produced four group winners, plus a further stakes winner, who was also group placed, with Secret Gesture starting things off back in 2013, when she was second in the Epsom Oaks. Secret Gesture was placed in two further Oaks, won a group two, and won the group one Beverly D stakes at Arlington in 2015, before she was subsequently demoted to third place in a controversial stewards inquiry. After Secret Gesture, she produced stakes winner and group place Morris by Medician. He was a nine-year-old gelding who's still running in Australia today. Uh, then there was notably Sir Isaac Newton, who at 3.6 million guineas is still the record highest priced yearling cult ever to be sold at public auction in Europe. And he went on to win the Wolverton Handicap at Royal Ascot and a group three in Ireland. Her son, Japan was one of the best three-year-olds in training last year and he won two group ones including the Judmont International at York as well as being placed in both the Derby and the Ark and I hope very much that he'll be one of the stars of the track again this year. Shasti was empty to Galileo last year and after two unsuccessful attempts again this year we've elected to jump ship and she's now counting days to Dubawi. For 19 year years old I think she looks amazing and hopefully if we treat her like the queen that she is uh, we may get one or two more foals out of her um, certainly a Dubawi filly would be pretty special uh, from a commercial perspective her offspring have sold through public auction for over 14 million pounds which is a mind-boggling amount and obviously she's been an absolute vital cog in the wheel of Newsels Park Stud for the f past 14 years Okay, good morning. Um, Julian Dollar here again from Newsels Park Stud, and we're here to talk about uh, a nice yearling. Um, and Mark, who's uh, the yearling manager here at Newsels Park, and I have selected this chap here, who is a See the Stars colt out of Valdmark. Valdmark is a mare by Mark of Esteem out of the prolific German W family. She is an older mare, the dam of three group or stakes winners, including the St. Ledger winner, Mars Marvel, and uh, the dam of last year's ARC winner, Valgeist. And um, this guy we, we like a lot. Mark, what, what do you particularly like about this, this guy? Um, I like this yearling a lot here. He's very much like his relative wall geese uh, we had here as a yearling. He's a very strong cold, well balanced, with a very good walk. Mentally he's very solid, very chilled and very professional at this early stage. We're very much looking forward to prepping him and getting him ready for the sale. Yeah, yeah. he's from this the great German family and W family. We've had a lot of success here in Newsom to it. Um, the thing I like about this horse, and I think when people are looking at yearlings at the sales, is you look at the pedigree and you look at the, the conformation of the horse in front of you, and you hope that they marry. And to, to make that old cliche, I think this horse um, is exactly what it says on the tin. Um, he's got a pedigree that suggests he's a real derby contender, and I think he, he's physically made up that way as well. He's a big, strong horse. He's got a lovely, laid-back attitude, a good walk. Um, it's hard here at the Newsels at the moment. He's probably feeling a little bit foot sore, but he's still got a good step. You can see that. And as, as Mark says, mentally, he's, he's incredibly solid. So that's our cult, yearling cult for the day. That's the, uh, the See the Stars cult out of Valbar. Good morning. It's uh, Julian Dollar again from Newsels Park Stud. And I'm joined this morning by Ben Barkley, who's the Brutman manager here at Newsels Park. Um, here to talk about our pick of the foals for Foal Friday, and it's this girl by Kingman out of Secret Sense. Um, she has been a really antisocial foal until just now when she's decided she sort of wants to come and talk to us. But anyway, um, Ben, what do you particularly like about this filly? I usually like her. Um, she's a 
like how uh, how laid back she is. Um, she's choosing not to be today. Um, she's a big, powerful, January fall, good step, and a nice, nice, good mind. Yeah, she's a she's a good size filly, that's for sure. Um, out of a good size Shamadol mare. Um, Secret Sense, who is a half sister to Secret Gesture, Japan mogul uh, et al., and um, a daughter of Shasti, who we featured earlier on Monday. Um, this is her third foal. She's previously had a lovely cult by Oasis Stream that sold as a yearling last year, and she has a yearling by showcasing this year. And um, yeah, we like this this girl a lot. Um, so hopefully she'll be uh, either a nice filly to offer for the sales next year, or maybe we'll be lucky enough to kind of keep her and race her. This morning for Stallion Sunday, I'm joined by David Porter McCrell, who's the stallion manager here at Newcastle Park Stud. And uh, I said to David we had to choose um, our favourite stallion. Um, to do this piece, but David said that, that wasn't possible. It was like choosing his favorite child. I personally wouldn't have had a problem with that. But anyway, I had to make the selection, and today we have decided to choose Nathaniel, who is here in front of us. Um, David, what, what is it about Nathaniel that you particularly like? I know you're fond of all your horses, you get very close to them, but what do you like about him? Well, firstly, he's magnificent, um, clever. He's kind, he's a grafter, do anything to please you. So yeah, what's not to like? Good boy. Um, no, I mean, I think we, we both like his character a lot. Uh, he's a very kind horse, as you say, very generous horse, always wants to give and please, and I'm sure that was the case when he was in training with John Gosden. Um, Nathaniel, obviously, is a 12-year-old son of Galileo, out of the mare, magnificent style, a beautiful pedigree. He was a winner of the King George as a three-year-old and the winner of the Eclipse as a four-year-old. Um, unfortunately, he ran into Frankel at either end of his career, both as a maiden on his first start and at the champion stakes at, throw, at Ascot at the, in his last start, but a fantastic racehorse. And he's been an exciting sire to, to uh, work with. At stud, with his first crop, obviously producing the indomitable enable uh, winner of 10 group ones a champion a multiple champion but as well as that he's produced uh, group one winners like god given and also last year channel who won the french oaks so he's been a, he's made a great start to stud last year the sire of two group one winners and two group two winners there aren't too many standings that do that every year and one of the leading sires in europe each year at stud so far so he's made an exciting start to his career and um just a lovely horse to have anything to deal with. We're very lucky.